Hi, the Mud Brooker here. Today I'm going to be starting a fermentation experiment. I love crock pickles. Crock pickles are a fermented dill pickle. And I usually make a big 10 gallon crock full every year. But last year we had a really bad growing season. A lot of rain and a lot of people had problems with things going moldy. I had I started a batch of crock pickles and overnight they went moldy and had to throw the whole damn works out. So I'm going to try to see if I can get fermentation started a lot faster. Normally it would take three to five days before the pickles would start to ferment, but I'm going to use some sourdough starter in order to kick start the fermentation process. My reasoning behind that is the sourdough starter will contain the same wild yeasts and microorganisms that cause fermentation as I already have in the environment here in my house and that's the same bacteria and yeast that would start fermenting the pickles. So I'm going to use this starter as a starter culture and throw these together. These aren't the ideal cucumbers for pickling, they're just ones I got at the store because it's you know March and nothing's in season. But what I have here is a brine made of two quarts of water, a third cup of salt, and two thirds cup of vinegar. I'm going to put this in my, put a little bit in my jar for a start. I'm going to add, I don't know, a good dollop of my sourdough starter. Now this will make the brine cloudy, no doubt, but the brine usually gets cloudy as it ferments anyway. Some people just can it up with their pickles as it is because it, they say it tastes better. Most people though will make a new brine after the pickles are fermented and you go to can them. So I'll give her a little bit more. This is a uh, bread dough or bread flour sourdough starter in case you're wondering. Yeah, that should be enough. Stir that around a bit and get it dissolved. Get this out of my way. Okay, and since dill is out of season, and I can't use fresh dill, I'll use, oh yay much, powdered dill. It's probably about a tablespoon, I think, by the time I get her shook out. I'll give her that much dill. A couple of tablespoons worth of pickling spices, if I can get it to open. You gotta fight me. You just gotta fight me, don't you? That should be enough. Give that a little stir. I'm gonna add a little bit more brine. There we go. And I'll throw in my cucumbers. Like I said, this I would normally use whole cucumbers in my crock and uh, when they're in season, but this is just an experiment to see how it's going to work out. These all going to fit. Oh, yeah. A little more brine. Now I will weight it down. This is a little plastic plate that I've cut up into pieces that I use to cover things. Actually that ridge has got to go down on the first one. I use to cover things when I ferment in this jar. I usually make a sauerkraut in this jar and it works out really slick. Oops. Give a little devil you. 
piece these all together so they cover it. And then that fancy schmancy little fermentation weight I made goes in on top. Press them down a little bit. And add the rest of the brine until the cucumbers are all nice and covered. That's enough. Now I'll put my lid on. This has a wine making airlock on it. And I found that fermenting, you know, especially with uh, sauerkraut, the better job you can do of excluding the air from your system, the better things are going to be. I need a little bit of water for that, but that doesn't really matter just yet. So I will set this aside and let it start fermenting. And I'll check in every couple of days and show you how things are going. But this is going to take usually about four weeks before these would be ready to eat if this little experiment works at all. So follow along as I go and I'll see you in about a month. Okay, I'm about 48 hours in and this has started fermenting real good. You can see things shifted around and compacted a bit and my weight has kind of sunk almost to the bottom on top of them. But that's okay, this is just a test. Now, this is a lactic acid fermentation and unlike a yeast fermentation, it doesn't get a whole lot of bubbles, you know, like a really fast, you know, fermentation of yeast beer or wine but if I shake this a little bit hopefully you can see a couple of bubbles come up they're kind of trapped there's a few coming I'm gonna come back in about two weeks and uh, pull one out and taste it and see how it's going usually it takes about four weeks for this to ferment but we'll check on it then and having the fermentation take off right away like this is really good it won't make it entirely mold proof but if you have the microorganisms established that do the fermentation they'll outcompete most of the mold spores for nutrients and it really helps to keep them down so far I'd say things look pretty good alright I'm about two and a half weeks in and yeah that's probably a little too much weight for pickles in that jar works great for sauerkraut but I'm going to open this up hopefully I can do this one handed no hang on I'll have to open it up two handed alright I got her open I'm going to take, take my pair of big giant tweezers and see if I can fish one out and try it, it smells good let me see here do, 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 get a hold of this guy and I'm doing this left-handed so which would be okay if I was left-handed but I'm right-handed all right there's a piece now crock pickles aren't really crispy pickles and these won't these will especially be a little soft because I normally use some grape leaves because the tannic acid in the grape leaves helps to keep them a little crispier I'm going to rinse off. There's a little bit of flour residue on that, but that seems to have rinsed off for the most part. And we'll see what these taste like now. They still got a week and a half or so to go. Mmm. That tastes like they should. They, uh, by fermenting them, it gives it a lot more complex taste than you would just using a straight vinegar brine to pickle them. But the uh, fermentation really adds a lot of flavor to them. I think this is going to be a successful experiment. Like I said, I'll try it one more time with a couple little variations before I whip up a full batch of them over the summer. But come summer when I got grape leaves and fresh dill and all that, I'll make me a big crock of them and can them up and show you how that's done. So, I'll check back with this one more time on April 4th when they should be done. And we'll see what they got then. Alrighty, here we are four weeks later and these are done. 
Now I tried these about, what was it, two, two and a half weeks in to the process, and they're pretty good. But we'll see how everything turns out. I'll fish my weight out of there. And grab one of these here pickles and see what we got. Like I said before, they got a little bit of residue on there, on some of them anyway, from the sourdough starter. Right there, some. But that just wipes off. I would probably, before I can these, you know, give them a little rinse and put them in new brine anyway. Let's see how they taste. Mmm. Those taste exactly like they should. So, I'm really happy with the way this experiment has turned out so far. And I think I will do this again. Like I said, crock pickles aren't a really crispy pickle. And I think I probably could have taken these out after three weeks because they started fermenting right away so you don't have the time it takes for the fermentation to start. But all in all, I would say this is a pretty successful experiment. I'll try it one more time before I make a big batch in my crock, just to confirm things. And uh, next, I'm going to get some cabbage and try this process with sauerkraut. Put a couple of spoons of uh, sourdough starter in the bottom and try not to mix it in. Be a little more careful than I was with this and uh, see what that does for sauerkraut. So there you have it, a reasonably successful experiment in making crock pickles with sourdough starter as a inoculant to get the process going. Thank you much for watching. See you later.